What a beautiful finish to our weekend. Hope you had a chance to enjoy it. It will continue into the start of the upcoming work week, but some trouble is brewing later in the week. From the WRUF Weather Center, I'm Jeff Hoffman, and for the first time this season, I will have your exclusive 10-day forecast coming up. But first, the drier air that moved in Sunday in the wake of that departing storm was nice, and it's going to linger for your Monday. Kind of a squeeze play of sorts. We've got a front coming in from the north and west, one that's stalled to our south and to our east, and right in between is where we'll find ourselves on Monday. Check out Future Track. You can see that little stripe of drier air, and this little stripe of moisture to our north will, will cause some thunderstorms from the Panhandle into South Georgia Monday afternoon. Some of those may drift as close as Lake City, and then as close as Ocala on our south side, down into the central part of Florida is where the tropical moisture will be, and that's where a few thunderstorms could be on Monday as well. By midweek, though, the wind all changes out of the east and southeast, and that starts to bring in deeper moisture, and we will see increasing rain chances uh, for the rest of the upcoming work week. Here is the week ahead. Monday's high pressure is going to be nice. Tuesday into Wednesday, we start that onshore flow. Something brewing in the Gulf of Mexico maybe over the coming weekend. Enjoy your Monday, folks. Sunny and seasonably warm. Still relatively low humidity. Highs in the upper 80s. But check out Tuesday into Wednesday. A couple of spotty showers or thunderstorms are going to march inland thanks to that onshore flow. The real natural Nasty weather will be over here on the first coast. Look at the persistent rain there, the wind off the water, the rip current risk will be high, seas will be a little choppy, and those winds at around 20, 25 miles per hour for the middle of the week. Then by the end of the week, we are watching the Gulf of Mexico, the tail end of this front, uh, could develop an area of low pressure, and if this happens, we're going to see this deep moisture move in our direction. Something will be brewing here, I think, Friday into Saturday, and it's most likely going to be drifting north and east. Plenty of time to watch it, but just know that's when the unsettled weather will really start to move in here in north central Florida. Here's your exclusive 10 day. Look at the temperatures. Not much change until maybe the 1st of October when a pretty strong front will come through, but before that, whatever system that is in the Gulf could bring us some higher rain chances Friday, Saturday, and Sunday.